told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form of oppression because why should they have to cover themselves um, because of the weakness of men? Shouldn't they be treated with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Madam, Madam, your holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head, that the woman who doesn't cover her shave off her head. Your Bible says that. Your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches, they don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street. And people just walk by, looking the fun. Say, or maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. No, no, I said, you are inviting it. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, Roman Catholic Church, nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But those women on your gold coast, that's a Scarborough, and all that, with bikinis and tangas and G-strings, look, she... The thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know. Him. The Quran says. The Quran says. Zuyina lil nasi hubbu shahwati min nisa Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, min nisa Women! I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is. The Westerner, he sells his mother, his wife, his daughter, his wife is a star, and she's been mangled on the screen, simulating rape, and they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated. It's not real rape, but you know, it's simulated. You can see everything about it. She's being raped, your mother, your wife, your daughter, and you enjoy, your wife is a star. So, it's sick, sick. Now, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God, we haven't come to that sickness yet, we Muslims. We try, we try to keep away from it. This is your pleasure, your privilege. We have no right to force you. But we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price.